Hello SpaceX fans, welcome to another short video update. Here is a quick look at the things that happened at Starbase in the last 24 hours. For the first time, forward flaps on Starship 24 were tested. Both the flaps could be seen making some movements. For those who don't know, flaps on Starship are designed to create as much drag as possible to slow down the vehicle during re-entry through the atmosphere. A new thrust puck was spotted delivered to the build site yesterday. It could possibly be for Booster 8. Here in this shot from Starbase Surfer, Booster 7 could be seen peaking from the Mega Base still undergoing repairs. Lately, SpaceX has been giving extra attention to the chopstick arms. They seem to be in a rush to make these catching arms work as soon as possible. They even mentioned the possibility of catching the booster during its first orbital test flight. To safely land the booster on the Mechazilla arms, crews have installed the shock absorbers on both arms. After rolling out to the launch pad, Segment 5 for the new Starship launch tower at Pad 39A is now kept hooked to the crane ready for stacking. If you enjoy short videos like this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Your support is what keeps the channel running. Coming to the end, SpaceX and a top American toy manufacturing company, Mattel, announced that both companies have reached an agreement to start producing SpaceX-inspired toys and collectibles. In a statement released, the toy maker said it will start manufacturing the SpaceX-themed items starting next year in 2023 under its famous brand, Matchbox. I am sure this will help in inspiring the children towards space and space exploration more than ever. That is it for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.